Looks like they're about to start loading here. Bowbury is blindfolded to go into the stalls, followed by Astral Weeks. Last one to go in. Celestial Bay is the last in. Five runners at the mile, five and a half furlong start. They're off and they're racing. The Blue Dog in the big sheepskin noseband was the first away, but look at the early pace. It's absolutely pedestrian. Out wide, Bowbury, Astral Weeks. They're barely out of a canter here. Celestial Bay is behind them. Evacuate Safe Lady on the inside through a farcical first furlong and a half. And it is the Blue Dog and Tom Marcond who won the last race at Lingfield yesterday, coming very late to win on Yum Jamil. Well, he's in front early this time on the Blue Dog. Bowbury in second. And then in third, Astral Weeks, and then uh, Celestial Bay, and uh, finally, Evacuate Safe Lady at the back of the field. So they're about to swing into this, not even point to point pace, this, as they swing into the straight with over a circuit to go. The Blue Dog on the inside of Bowbury is taking quite a tug in the hands of Megan Nichols there, trying to restrain Bowbury. Not ideal. Astral Weeks on the outside. Then Celestial Bay in the hoop sleeves and Evacue Safe Lady at the back. At some point here, one of these riders is going to say, well, to hell with this, we'll kick on. And uh, these sort of races are up for being stolen on, on occasions. They're just the beginning to up the tempo now as they swing left-handed and make their way towards the back straight. The Blue Dog, Bowbury, has been very keen throughout. Still being held on to, though, Astral Weeks, the daughter of Sea the Stars in third, Celestial Bay, and finally, Evacuate Safe Lady, who's five or six lengths detached. Now into the back straight and heading on towards the final three quarters of, of a mile in this very slowly run bet, Tote, Quad Pot, Apprentice, Phyllis Stakes. And finally, Bowbury basically tugging her way into the lead here from the Blue Dog in second and Astra Weeks. And Megan Nichols still trying to hold on to Bowbury, saving something, but got four lengths now. Astral Weeks being sent after the leader. The Blue Dog back on the inside under Tom Marcon. And then in fourth is Celestial Bay and finally Evacuate Safe Lady. So heading towards the exit from the back straight, less than a half mile left to travel. And Bowbury by a length and a half to Astral Weeks on the outside of the Blue Dog who cut out the very slow early fraction. Celestial Bay is still well in touch as they now run towards the final turn in. Bowbury with Astral Weeks towards the outside. A length between them now. The Blue Dog coming under pressure. Celestial Bay moving up quite threateningly to the outside under Jack Dinsmore. And Evacuate Safe Lady closing a little bit now. Bowbury Bowbury Astral Weeks about to be joined by the cruising Celestial Bay and then the Blue Dog Evacuate Safe Lady coming very wide as they enter the final furlong. He's only got to shake the rein surely on Celestial Bay to win here and Celestial Bay quickens up fairly smartly. Evacuate Safe Lady out very wide but Celestial Bay was travelling much the best turning in and wins comfortably. From Astral Weeks Evacuate Safe Lady, Bowbury and the Blue Dog. First, number one, Celestial Bay. Second, number two, third, number five, and the fourth place horse, number four. The full results of the bet, Tote, Quad Pot, Apprentice, Phillies, Handicap Stakes. First, number one, Celestial Bay. Second, number two, Astral Weeks. Third, number five, Evacuate Safe Lady. And fourth, number four, Bowbury. The distances were two and a quarter lengths and one length. Two and a quarter lengths and one length. And the official time of the winning horse, three minutes, 01.34 seconds. Three minutes, 01.34 seconds.